you it's good to be here with you it's so so hard to keep up with everything that is going on you know even trying to explain some of this to people they would almost call it a conspiracy theorist but everything that we've been kind of shouting out that's going to happen has been happening what i wanted to do was to show you two videos these are the topics that i've been watching for a long long time many have heard about agenda 2030 but just watch the plan kind of starting to unfold of what they want to do and um, it's a short enough video but a very very powerful to see exactly how the plan is rolling out now i believe what they are doing and what they are prepping for is what we call the final age or the tribulation period and they will have this system in place to be able to do what the antichrist needs to be done in terms of being able to control people and these two will actually show it what i'd ask you to do like always is smash that like button get this out and show people that these things are happening have a look at this one first time that neom is pioneering and we could talk a little bit more about that as we go through the rest of the uh rest of the panel in the session So when I'm looking at this as a grid infrastructure. Yeah, so basically the way it works is it's 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, 500 meters high. Um, the height is from the sea level. So as you go inwards and the topography actually goes up, then the height of the actual building structure reduces until you get to the, uh, to the mountains where it actually, you no longer have a mirror line. Mm. Um, the idea is about what we call a zero gravity uh, urbanism which is not necessarily having to be linked and anchored to a ground. How can we think of cities that go vertical and not only horizontal? Um, this has many benefits. It's five minutes walk from all of your needs. Um, each module is 800 meters wide and each model will take uh, 80,000 uh, people on average. Obviously some are gonna be more densely populated than others and when you do it this way, you're, you're only five minutes walk away from your school, your hospital, um, supermarket. The other thing is that the catchment area becomes a lot bigger. The catchment area for businesses becomes an 80,000 catchment area within a five minute walk, which as you can understand, instead of opening many pharmacies or many stores, that one store will service a much bigger catchment area than it typically does in, in, in other cities that have you know, 15, 20,000 people in even densities catchment areas like New York and London. So the role of businesses in the active food sector should be stimulated and able to create scalable uh, solutions. And here I'd like to highlight a, a World Economic Forum initiative in this regard, the World Economic uh, Forum Food uh, Innovation Hubs. And these hubs in Africa, in Asia, in South America and in Europe uh, will allow uh, businesses to connect regional stakeholders to skill innovations because this is key uh, skill innovations that can address food systems challenge food systems challenges and here uh, i'm particularly proud to announce that the netherlands will host the global coordinating secretariat of the world economic forum food innovation hubs which will connect all other food innovation hubs and i believe this is important because it will be facilitating to create uh, the partnerships we need. As you can see, all of this is going to lead to a crescendo, which is going to be, for me, I think before it all kicks off, the return of Christ happens. But what I wanted to do was to show you how their plan is starting to unfold. They're starting to show people now in front of their eyes, but a lot of people don't see it. And that's the way it actually works. They throw it out in front of you, but most don't see it because it'd be very, very hard to believe that they're doing this and they use it behind the smoke uh, and screens uh, or mirrors and screens or mirrors and smoke of climate change and all these other things. But realistically, at the end of the day, it's all about power because when we look at what they're doing, the wealthy or the one one percent, they won't abide by those rules. They'll have separate ones, but the rest of us would be all encamped in. But what I will say, let's keep an eye on the signs that are happening, but let's live life, spread the gospel, get people to know who Jesus truly is, while keeping our eyes on the clouds for his return, but being aware of the enemy's plans of destruction, the things that he's doing. But remember, God's always in control and keep the faith.